So what, what do you want to know about, about my, chi- my privileged, spoiled childhood? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I had, yeah. I had privileged, yeah. privileged did, spoiled childhood. Who's Ron Arad? Where did he come from? When did he come to London? Um, you know, I, I, I grew up in a, in a very progressive liberal home. Uh, both parents are artists. I had absolutely no problem. <laughs> And, and and I, uh, I when I was a young man, I thought me and my friends are the center of the world, like every group of young people. And um, and then I found myself here in '73. I can't remember exactly leaving Tel Aviv. I didn't pack my LPs or anything. I just found myself here and and. Uh, Somehow, without too much planning, I found myself at the AA. Um, I did architecture. The AA at the time seemed more what I thought an art, art school should be than the Slade. You know, it was more vibrant and active and and pluralist and uh, and exciting. You know, I went to some parties at the AA. It was fantastic, and I discovered that. The people that played invisible tennis in Antonioni's film Blow Up were all AA students. And uh, there were like hardcore socialist architects there, like Brian Hansen, and, and decadent people, like I don't know. I won't. It was like, a, it seemed like a very good place. So I joined the queue. Uh, I didn't have a portfolio, and I was probably, um, I don't know, um, I didn't take it seriously, like the in, the going to the interview at the AA, but, and when they asked me, why do you want to be an architect, I told them, I don't want to be an architect, my mother wants me to be an architect, which was true, because every time I held a pencil, and instead of saying, ooh, that's a good drawing, she said, you'll be an architect, to make sure I don't become a peace artist. Um, and they wanted to see my portfolio. I said, I don't have a portfolio, but I have my 6B pencil. What do you want me to do? I was cocky and, you know, I was a brat. <laughs> there was a party that evening and one of the people in the panel told me, don't do it again, an interview like that. We offered you a place, but, but uh, we nearly didn't. I said okay, and then I, I yeah, I went through the AA, um, and then I even tried to work for an architectural practice when I graduated, and I didn't last very long. Uh, it's very difficult to work for other people. Don't I hope the people here won't see this. Um, it was difficult for me to work for other people. Um, very difficult to work for other people after lunch. And one lunchtime I didn't come back. And I walked down Harvestock Hill. The practice was in Hampstead. And I went to a scrapyard behind the roundhouse. It's not there anymore. And I picked up this piece. I rolled a seat and I made myself a frame. And this piece sucked me into this world of design. I didn't, I had no, someone told me a week before that I'm going to be a furniture designer. I would think they're crazy. 